Hey, he's the medical mythbuster taking social media by storm. Meet Dr. TikTok, <laughs> better known as Melbourne GP Michael Mrazinski from from how to take a rat test to registering results online. He simplifies very complicated topics and cracks down on COVID misinformation. Don't we need a bit of that? And he joins us now from Inglewood in Queensland. Good morning to you, Doctor. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're in your scrubs already. Mm. Pleasure to be Thanks for having me. Now, you've racked up millions of likes and more than 200,000 followers. Why did you decide to even do this? Yeah, good question. Um, <laughs> so first of all, I absolutely love teaching. Um, but um, me personally, I've always thought that medical information is a bit complicated and boring. Um, and I wanted to be able to change that. So I think as doctors in the 21st century, we need to use social media as a tool to be able to get our message out um, to more people, essentially. So what I do is I unpack all this complicated information and all this new information that's constantly coming out, uh, and I try and make it as simple as possible uh, for people to understand. Mm. Can we hear a bit of that now? Uh, I know you do a bit of stuff on TikTok, but I just, controller, if we can have a listen to... To, just have a listen oh, to this. It's, okay. oh, it's just muscle, it's just muscle, In New South Wales in Australia, the government decided to drop all mask wearing, social distancing, checking into public places. How do you think that went? Here's your answer. Not well. <laughs> That's gone crazy, that, that video. Well, what's been your response to that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I, I think the, 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 the video that I did on the rat testing has, has been um, important because uh, rat tests are going to be part of our future for however long COVID goes on for. Mm. So it's important that we get the most reliable uh, results that we can. So we don't want people getting lots of false negative results because people are relying on a, a negative rat test so that they can go to their work, so that they can go and visit vulnerable um, relatives like older relatives or kids or pregnant relatives, etc. So there's a couple of ways that people can end up getting a, a, a false negative rat test. And the first way is down to technique. You're just not very good at doing the test, and rightfully so, because nobody's ever used these little swabs before. Mm. But the main thing I would say to people is these tests are very sensitive, so you don't want to contaminate the end, so please do not touch it and don't let it touch anything else before it gets to your nose. Mm. And when you're putting it in your nose, it needs to go in three centimetres, so oh. that's not just a little tip there. It has to go in by a lot. Yeah. And if you do it properly, your eye will feel as if it's about to water or you feel as if you're about to sneeze. So poor technique can lead to a false negative rat test result. The second way is that you're probably doing the test a bit too early. So unlike the PCR tests, we know that PCR tests will pick up a positive COVID test after about two days of you being exposed to somebody with COVID. A rat test takes about three days. So if you've got symptoms of COVID and you think, oh, look, I think I've really, I think I've got COVID here, and you take a test and it's negative, I wouldn't, uh, you might just be a bit too early uh, in taking that test. So what I would suggest is that you isolate yourself, you take yourself, uh, you keep yourself away from vulnerable people, and you repeat the test the next day. And then the last thing that can cause a negative test, and I think this is more for the government and for healthcare professionals to have a chat about, is that studies coming out of Canada have shown that Omicron has been a bit different to Delta in that it harbors more in the throat than in the nose. So if you, we're finding that from studies in Canada that the nasal swabs are, seem to only be about 80%, 86% effective compared to almost 100% when you do a throat or a saliva swab. So that's really, you know, this is a con, an ever-changing space and we're getting new information all the time. And that's essentially what science does is we react to the new evidence. And I think that the government and certainly healthcare professionals need to have a chat about this because rat tests are going to be so important mm. in the future. Uh, and they're going to be part of our life for, you know, potentially months and months and months to come. Mm. If you can get your hands on some of them. Yeah. Particularly my nose, just thinking about that. Know, just get it I up know. just high enough just to get a bit of an eye watering. It, oh. But it's got to be done. It has because, to be done. Uh, because to do if you don't do it properly, you're going to cause a super spreading event. I know of weddings, I know of Christmas lunches. They think they've got the negative test and no, hang on, they haven't done it right and it's now been positive. Or too early, as he said. Or yeah. too early, as he said. This is just fantastic information, Doctor. Um, just tell us what's next. Um, so, yeah, I've got a, a good platform now to get my health information out to uh, people, not just in Australia, but all over the world. Um, I think we take for granted that we have easy access to, to doctors here 
Um, there's parts of the world where they just cannot get to see a doctor and they don't get medical information from anywhere. So it's important for me to keep these videos going, not only for Australia, but for the rest of the world. And I think that if we've learned one thing from this pandemic, I think we can all agree that as humans, we need to be a bit more healthier. And I hope that we can look um, to the future to prevent diseases and try and live a healthy lifestyle as opposed to just treating things when they come on. Mm. Hey, thanks so much, Dr. TikTok. Just before you go, Dr. TikTok, that, that <laughs> accent, uh, you're also a doctor. I knew you'd um, ask this. I've got a few female viewers asking me, are you single? <laughs> Alex, you had to go there. I'm, I'm, I'm taken and I'm, I'm, I'm happily taken, so uh, uh, I'm sorry. Isn't that oh, sweet? Oh, good. It wasn't quite the answer he was hoping that, for, no, but anyway. A collective... <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the great work, Doctor. We look forward to your next video. Thanks so much for your time this morning. See ya. <laughs>